Did I remember to put my underwear in the dryer last night? I forgot to move them from the washing machine to the dryer. Cheese puffs! Speaking of cheese puffs, what am I going to have for lunch today? Should I eat tacos or Brussels sprouts? I don't know! Mr. N, Mr. N! We're playing four square, remember? You were totally zoned out. You've got to be present in the moment. Oh, yeah! <sighs> Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. What does it mean to be present? Being physically present means you're in a particular place. But being mentally present means that you're focused on the here and now. If you're mentally present, you're able to take in what's going on around you and enjoy it. There's a couple of things, however, that can make it difficult to be present. One is that it's really easy to get stuck thinking about things in the past. Maybe there was a mistake you made, or just something that went wrong for you or for other people. Dwelling on these kinds of things can really occupy your thoughts, to the point that you spend most of your time thinking about things that have already happened, and that can't be changed. There comes a point where you need to let go of the things of the past, so you can better focus on the present moment and enjoy it. Another thing that can keep you from being present is worrying about what may happen in the future. The reality is, nobody knows exactly what their future holds, because, well... It hasn't happened yet. It's important to know that you don't know what's in your future, and that's okay. Instead of worrying about your future, focus on living your best life now. It will help you be happier and better prepared for whatever comes your way. Now, it feels safe when you feel like you're in control of your life. It's important to keep in mind though that you can't change your past and you can't control your future. What you can control, however, is the here and now, the present. It's good to remember your past and to plan for your future, but give your best attention to the present moment. Now, it doesn't do much good for me to tell you not to dwell on your past or not to worry about the future. The real question is, what should I do in order to enjoy being present? Lucky for you, some of my sixth grade homies have some strategies for you. Notice the little things that make you happy every day. Think of things you love to do and do them. Slow down while you eat to enjoy the taste. Take slow deep breaths and enjoy the feeling of breathing. Another way for you to practice being present is to ground yourself. Not in a bad way like when you get grounded to your room for the rest of your life, but grounded as in knowing where you are and what you're doing right now in the present. Take a second to ground yourself with me. Here's how you do it. What's something that you can see right now? What's something that you can feel right now? What's something that you can hear right now? What's something that you can smell right now? What's something that you can taste right now? Try grounding yourself or doing one of the things the sixth grader said on your own. It takes time and practice, but you can do it. Eventually, you'll become more present. And the more present you become, the more you'll truly enjoy living instead of just existing. Until next time, just take it one moment at a time. See ya!